Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, I want to show you a little time lapse we put together a little while ago. You can see some of the clouds advancing in from the west over this area. As the sun was going down on the western horizon, more clouds will thicken as we head through the rest of the overnight hours as well. Temperatures, though, are a little bit warmer today than this time yesterday. Actually, in Paris and in Terre Haute, it's 7 degrees warmer. I mean, it's been a really mild day out there. And the first half of December, today being basically the halfway point, crazy. Seven and a half degrees above normal. It has been a very mild start to the month of December and to meteorological winter. We hit 59 for the high today. That's nearly 20 degrees above normal. We started near normal, 27, but we really shot up there for the high. 70 is your record high, 10 below is your record low. No rainfall across the area today. We continue to be dry, but I think we're going to get some for the weekend, especially tomorrow in the afternoon and in the evening as some rain chances will move up across the area. Wabash River in Terre Haute, 3.7 feet, and it is stationary. So this is what we're going to be looking at then as we take you out to the airport at Terre Haute. 48 degrees out there. The pressure is falling pretty quickly now as high pressure moves away from here and low pressure starts to develop and head this way. Temperatures over still quite nice, upper 40s to near 50 all across the area. The KZ State Bank Water Tower forecast, we take you back to Charleston, Illinois. We're looking at cloudy skies and about 40 for the low, so the temperatures will not be as cold tonight. You can see moisture in the southern plains being transported northward up into this area, so that's why the cloud cover will thicken this evening, but the rain is staying west of here for the time being. You can see the rain way out of here in Missouri, but for us, no rain near us yet. Just cloudy skies and the clouds will tend to thicken as the night goes on. So nothing showing up on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar. Don't expect anything tonight or early tomorrow, but by late morning, early afternoon, chance for a few showers coming in. I don't think this is anything big. This is by 11 o'clock, maybe a few spotty light showers. I think most of this, though, will pick up once we hit the afternoon and evening hours and then exiting the area during the overnight hours. So by Sunday morning, it's all gone. Just some cloud cover left over on Sunday. So again, most of it will be in the afternoon, evening hours for tomorrow. Rainfall, not anything way excessive. I mean, we could use anything we can get, but there may be a half of an inch, give or take, in some places around the area. So some okay rain amounts are possible by the time it's all done by Sunday morning. So then Sunday morning, everything is dry as we get into Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, probably most of Friday of next week. Most of the next week looks dry. As we get into later Friday, chance of rain. This would be rain, though, as temperatures will be mild. I want to show you as we get you into Christmas now. This is the 22nd into the 23rd, a few showers. Then as we get into the Christmas, even Christmas Day, everything looks fine. Dry, mild here, not a white Christmas this year. You can see the rain, though, comes in late in the day on Christmas. That'll be our next system we watch probably later in the day on Christmas Day. So your forecast for tonight and looks okay. Cloudy skies, temperatures will not drop as much tonight, down to only 40. Then during the day tomorrow, showers move in, especially in the afternoon, evening hours. Warm, but not as warm, and high of 50. And then after that, temperatures are looking cooler as we take you into early next week. We're talking 35 on Monday and kind of windy. After after that, temperatures will modify once we hit into Thursday with a chance of some showers in here by late next week. That's your forecast. Sports is next.